Hey, what's up? How is it going? So, my name is Sam. Alright, Sam's to give us uh, top reasons why we should buy Ethereum and EOS. Right? Uh, I, I know in cryptocurrency and blockchain space, there is a lot of uh, tribalism where um, if someone likes EOS, the person doesn't like Ethereum. If this one likes Ethereum, it doesn't like EOS. EOS. And that is crazy. That's like a religion, right? You know, it's like saying you love Facebook and hate it and, and, and hate Twitter. It doesn't make sense, right? Oh. Sorry, driving in Lagos is is something else. I just have to. All right, so back to what I was saying. Sorry about that. Uh, reasons why I should buy should. Um, buy and hold Ethereum and EOS. Reason number one, cryptocurrency and blockchain is at its early stages and it brings about a new world of financial and data transaction. Uh, data because uh, not every transaction on the blockchain has monetary value, right? I can decide to like a post if a social net network is built on blockchain. I can decide to like a post and that post is registered on the blockchain. Right? So if you have real estate on the blockchain, I can decide to um, you know, put the timestamp my documents, my uh, real estate documents on the blockchain, right? So it has no immediate monetary value, right? Right, so blockchain brings about transparency, uh, ease of use to, to data as a whole. So why should you invest into, why should you buy and hold Ethereum and EOS? Because it's a new technology and last time I checked, companies, big organizations around the world are beginning to build or use blockchain infrastructure for one or two purposes, right? There is no, the use case of blockchain is, is vast, is unlimited, right? But how can you benefit from this use case? How can you make money with it? That's the reason for this video, right? So how, how can we find out or how do we know which company is going to use blockchain and cryptocurrency, most especially blockchain? Here's how to know. Any company or, or organization that has anything to do with money, and data or data needs a blockchain. I'll repeat, a any company or organization that has something to do with money or data needs a blockchain. So with that, with that uh, definition, I don't think there's any company in the world that has nothing to do with money and data. So that means every company will use blockchain or the other, right? So why am I st streamlining uh, you know blockchain to just ethereum and eos for now in the next couple of years who knows in the next three years or in the next four years or five years it could be more i could bring out another video and tell you hey these two blockchains are the two blockchains you should pay attention to so let me start with ethereum why ethereum why should you buy and hold ethereum well ethereum is used for um building decentralized applications you know you can build smart contracts on ethereum Right? So Ethereum is my number one uh, on this list because Ethereum has first move, mover advantage. Right? Ethereum came out way before EOS. Right? Ethereum has a bigger community. You see, Ethereum just has first mover advantage. Right? So that's uh, that's why Ethereum is number one on this list. You see. So, and another reason why Ethereum is number one on this list is because. Um, Ethereum, they are working on what is called Ethereum 2.0. So what is Ethereum 2.0? It's a solution that is supposed to make Ethereum faster. You see, Ethereum currently is slow, right? Really, really slow. That is why if you go online and search uh, uh, Chinese blockchain ranking, Ethereum will not be number one. Why? Because Ethereum was built during the early days of blockchain and cryptocurrency and they used a very nonsensical 
uh, blockchain algorithm the first ethereum the current ethereum right now that we have is a mess the current ethereum right now is a failure right if it wasn't a fa failure they wouldn't have been building a second version of it so the ter the first ethereum the, ter the, the ethereum we're using right now is a complete mess is a complete failure so trying to uh, invest into ethereum right now is a risk because you don't know if they're going to succeed in building the next one right but the reason why i think they will succeed is because they've done it before so they have the experience right so one other reason why people are skeptical about ethereum 2.0 is because trying to build ethereum 2.0 is like trying to change the tires of a car why the car is still moving you will need you will have to be really really careful right and also ethereum 2.0 i've been trying to launch for well over two years right and well over two years it was supposed to launch early this year and the year is coming to an end right so reason why ethereum you might, why is ethereum still on my list because i told you they've been around for a very long time they have facebook advantage uh but you know they, their chances are really thin but i believe that i'm going to ship out ethereum to preserve because they have the experience they have the developers and they have the funds but the issue is that it's like trying to build change the tires of our uh, of a moving car so it's really really technical now the second on my list is eos currently eos is my favorite blockchain or should i say eos io is my favorite bot blockchain software now why eos why is eos my my favorite uh, blockchain uh, I, I i i posted uh an article a few days ago on how Dalarima. Dalarima is uh, the creator of the EOS IO software that the EOS blockchain uses. All right, so this guy called Dalarima several years ago. He uh, he was he had a conversation with with Satoshi. Satoshi is the guy that built the Bitcoin Bitcoin that built Bitcoin. So he told him that hey, man. Bitcoin is going to be slow in the future. Now, this discussion that I'm talking to you about was in 2010, way before any of us, including myself, got to know about Bitcoin. Bitcoin was released in 2009, and this discussion was in 2010, the next year. So he was telling Satoshi, Satoshi was still very much around, although we, nobody knows who he is uh, physically. So he told him that hey bitcoin is going to be slow in the future but the way this thing is built i don't think bitcoin is going to be you know used as money in the future because it's going to be slow guess what satoshi told him he said if you don't have the time to understand i don't have the time to explain no if you don't get it i don't have the time to explain to you i'm sorry so if you want to uh i, I have an article i wrote about this i'll, I'll put it in the, in the description <laughs> english so you guys can read about it to read the conversation what satoshi told him and all so this was way back in 2010. now why do i respect dan larima so much i respect dan larima so much because way back in 2010 he was able to figure out that bitcoin will be slow in the future this was way before anybody saw the slow part of bitcoin if this guy could predict the future by reading codes that means he's good Hope you guys know what I'm talking about. In 2010, he predicted that Bitcoin will be slow in the future, and now we are seeing a slow Bitcoin. So how does this call, how does this uh, relate to Ethereum? He did the same thing about Ethereum about six years ago, which was a year before Ethereum was released to the public. He predicted that Ethereum was going to be slow. This was six years ago. Dan Larima, the creator of EOS predicted that ethereum was going to be slow nobody listened to him until six years later today we have ethereum trying to move out from what dalarima told them not to use dalarima asked him a question he said why are you using proof of work proof of work is going to make ethereum slow and vitalik told him uh, this is what we're doing sharding and blah 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 and we found out years later that Dan Larima was right. So EOS is my favorite blockchain because 
the guy who built EOS is the same guy who told who told Satoshi Bitcoin will be slow in the future, and Satoshi ignored him. Dan Larema, the, build, the creator of EOS, is the same guy that told Vitalik Buterin that hey, Ethereum is going to be slow in the future, and Vitalik Buterin ignored him. All right, so that's the reason why EOS is my second is my is my favorite blockchain, but it's second on this list, right? Because um, Dalerma had the idea, he had the knowledge, right? He knows so much about blockchain. I dare say that he knows so much about blockchain than Dalerma, than Satoshi. I dare say he knows so much about blockchain than Ethereum. Why am I saying that? Because he predicted that Bitcoin was going to be, was going to be slow in the future, and Satoshi didn't believe him. He predicted that Ethereum was going to be slow in the future, and Vitalik, the creator of Ethereum, didn't believe him also. Right, so he's that smart. And then he has built a project called EOS. EOS. And EOS is currently super fast. If you go to blocktivity.info, you will see the number of transactions that EOS has. So those are the two, those are my two favorite blockchains. And those are the two cryptocurrencies that I think you should buy and hold for the future. Why? Because companies around the world are going to build their infrastructure different parts of the organization on this blockchain it's gonna happen I don't know when I don't know how but it's gonna happen uh, currently ethereum is trying to become fast EOS is already fast right and uh, that's all I have for you guys today sorry uh, I'm trying to talk so, so loud because I'm on the road and there's so much noise here in Lagos if you can drive in Lagos, you can drive anywhere. I'm telling you, man. You know, you have these big, big trucks. I don't know if you can show, show you guys, you know, here and there. All right, guys, video is already getting so long. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video, right? And I will see you guys on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Buy some material, buy some POS. Hold it for a long time. Don't buy today and try to sell tomorrow, right? See ya.